what is going on guys so I'm gonna take you through a home workout it is going to be a back day and a neck day that's right and so this is a full home workout that I do so I have a barbell I have some dumbbell handles pull a bar 25 pound plates that's all you really need you just need the basics to get like a good workout you don't really need all this fancy stuff nowadays to get some real gains so I'm gonna show you what I do and we're gonna get these gains let's get these gains so we're gonna start off with a little pre-workout but the great thing about this this bathroom is that I can see there's four of me I can have a great conversation I can check out all my gains any room where you have multiple mirrors that you can like use it to see like your back you can learn how to flex your back better how to flare your lats so if you find a room where you have mirrors where you can do that definitely definitely use that as a tool to practice you know muscle control and all that good stuff and just for admiring your own gains you know gotta do that too so of course I gotta get that pre I'm looking a little a little fat right now honestly like I still got some abs but that's the effect of bulking guys and you know I've been bulking for like eight months so I'm bound to put on a little a little but eight months bulking I think I look pretty decent I would say all right so we got pre-workout so I like to test different pre-workouts this is called mr. Hyde it's decent you know it's got some it's got a bunch of like mushrooms as part of its pump and performance matrix so it's got reishi reishi which is a mushroom shiitake mushroom it's got a bunch of mushrooms extracts which they have their own benefits you can go look up the benefits of different mushrooms so yeah I take a scoop of the Mr. Hyde then I got these essential amino acids they have the BCAs plus all the other amino acids so I'm not gonna go into this right now but I always prefer essential aminos versus BCAs I picked up a little beta alanine powder I'm gonna add a about a half a teaspoon and do an extra like two grams of beta alanine just for that extra skin tingle let's get these gains I almost forgot about this beetroot powder it is good for getting a pump so you don't increase the circulation so I'm gonna add that to the mixture fruit fusion blueberry lemonade beetroot extravaganza very flavorful all right and now we got back day let's get it all right so my rear right shoulder is kind of like tweaking me a little bit right now you know it's not like super pain but it's a little tweaked so you know if you're feeling a pain you don't want that to turn into an injury so you want to kind of take it easy on it so I'm still gonna work out but doing normal pull-ups kind of kind of tweaks it a bit so I'm gonna, I'm gonna improvise and do other exercises that don't hurt it as much which is what you should do too chest or lats so if you're doing them for chest you want your elbows more inward and if they're lats more outwards so if it's chest you're gonna focus on squeezing your chest and having the elbows in lats you want to focus more squeezing your lats elbows flared out and bringing it up squeezing your lats and it's really what muscle you focus on and how wide your elbows are flared out Lateral raise. 
rises with your palms face inwards as opposed to kind of bent over with a more neutral grip. Because when you go like this, a lot of people, they like to cheat and the shoulder doesn't need that much weight. You don't need to be going super heavy. So this really lets you keep a strict form and really just focus on the shoulder, on that middle lateral shoulder. And then I like to superset these with reverse flies to really hit that rear delt, your rear shoulder. And you know that middle shoulder, which really makes that V shape, really makes it pop out. All right, so we got shrugs for that, for the traps. I personally like to do them behind the back to get a nice squeeze. Some people, they'll do shrugs and they'll kind of do half shrugs. You want to really get a good squeeze. Sometimes really just hold it. Hold it, really let those traps squeeze. You want to get a feel for it. All the way down, squeeze. So you can get these trap gains. All right, so I also started doing neck day. That's right, I would, I would be getting a lot of comments on TikTok that I got a skinny neck and you know, I didn't even really care, but then my girlfriend was like, you should work out your neck. So I'm like, all right, well, that's the only opinion I care about. So, so I started doing some neck exercises. It's only been a couple months, but it's starting to come in. And, you know, it's not as skinny as it used to be. Still working on these neck gains. I haven't been taking it that serious, but here's what I do. So you don't skip neck day. All right, so I'm not a neck expert. I'm not a neck expert. But basically, you wanna get a weight, some kind of weight, and preferably something kind of soft that you can use to, you know, not crush your head. And basically, you just wanna go all the way down and get a contraction of your neck muscle. Now you don't want to go too heavy because the neck and the spine is a very delicate, very delicate part of the body. So I'd say go for a minimum 12, 15 reps. You don't want to be going really heavy on these. You don't want to injure yourself or injure your spine. Start light and you know, you do it like this for each side. Let's get these gains. Let's get these neck gains. I'm gonna grab a plate, dumbbell, whatever you can use. And I prefer using something soft. You don't have to, but it's a lot more comfortable. Stabilize your neck. Stabilize your weight with your hands. Down and up. Now you don't want to go that heavy. That might be a little heavy. Heavier than I should. Honestly. And then the other side. Squeeze those neck muscles. You can definitely feel it. Remember, do it at a comfortable weight. Let's get these neck gains. <clears throat> All right, then, of course, we got our protein shake two scoops away. And, of course, you got to feed your gains. My calories were a little low for the day. So now I am chomping down on this spaghetti and beef. Let's get these gains. All right, and that is my back and neck day vlog. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. I always appreciate that. Let me know if I didn't say the word gains enough in this video. I can do that more next time. And as always, let's get these gains.